Good morning, Jenny. How are you today, my love? It's me, Empress Goddess, the Georgia Peach. I hope you're well. I started trying to record earlier for you, but I was on my uh, on my on my other device, but it would only let me record for like six minutes. I don't. This is my this is my new phone, so I don't know how long it'll allow me to record. But we're gonna try it, okay? Spirit guides, ancestors, and angels, tell me what I need to know for Jenny. What does Jenny need to know about Dagon? I think that's his name, Dagon. What does Jenny need to know about Dagon? Now, I told you one question. You asked me about three or four questions, my lady. See, what do you need to know about Dagon? Block any interference that may try to stop me from getting this message. For Dagon. I mean, Lord, for Dagon. Woo. For Jenny. Wow. I wonder what that means. I don't say, you don't say, it. things don't just be said for nothing, my love. Mm. What does Jenny need to know about Dagon and her love life? See, bottom of the deck. Five of Swords. I got that earlier for you. Cut the deck. King of Wands. <laughs> Self-explanatory. He's the King of Wands, baby. He ain't trying to settle down. Okay. Let's see a foolish card here for you. See what we got. Ooh. Three of Pentacles. Wow. Wow. What's really going on? Three of Pentacles. That's just lack, baby. Yeah, I smoke cigarettes. That's lack, my love. You are one Let's see what we got for the second card. The Queen of Pentacles. Hmm. You know, most people always say it could. That three could mean third party, which obviously it must be. Because the Queen of Pentacles come right out behind there. So this is just abundance coming into your life. I be, be abundance in everything. Love, not just money now. Love, spirituality, health. As well as money. Next card. Three of Wands. Damn, them threes coming out, girl. Definitely third party. Next card. King of Cups. You got some love coming in. Probably some new love. We're going to clarify. Pull you one more call here. Well, well, well. The world, my love. Look at that. You already know what that is. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I'm not Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but um, I'm thinking about air signs. I'll be Scorpio. Well, that's some people say Scorpio, um, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus. But for me, the world is me, Capricorn, which is Earth sign, represents Earth sign, world. You know, because Earth, we, we are Earth sign. So, but you already know what it means, though. You got something coming to you, my love. So, we're going to clarify this three of Pentacles. <clears throat> three of Pentacles. Is clarified by the Ten of Wands, girl. Wow. Burdens. Look at all them burdens, girl. That's what's clarifying the Three of Pentacles, that third party. You need to let it go. Let's clarify the Queen of Pentacles. See what? Ace of Cups clarifying the Queen of Pentacles, my love. Self-love focus on you. 
That's what you need to do. That's what the universe is telling you, to focus on yourself. Self-love is the best love. You ain't got nothing but burdens messing with uh, Drake, Draco or whatever his name is. We're going to clarify this three of wands. See that? See, I can't make it up. Six of swords. You moving away. Move away from that. Sail into calmer waters, my love. Leave that alone. The universe is going to send you someone in. We're going to clarify this King of Cups. See that? Whew. King of Cups clarified by the Seven of Swords. Wow. This is shit is crazy here. Earth. This is crazy. King of Cups clarified by the Seven of Swords. Oh. What I get from this, you see, what's his name? They, they, they gone. You see Dagon as your king of cups. But it's really nothing but heartache and pain. That's what that seven of swords is representing. Heartache and pain. See, I read intuitively. That's the way I see the card. Because, see, that three of pentacles in the beginning, like I say, is clarified by the ten of wands. Which is burdens. You ain't got nothing but burdens. Headache. Pain. You know, messing with him. Queen of Pentacles, that's you. You got abundance coming in if you let that go. Because that Queen of Pentacles is clarified by the Ace of Cups. If you let that go, let him go. Then your Ace of Cups going to come in. Because you got the Three of Wands okay. after the Queen of Pentacles. And that's clarified by the Six of Swords. So you need to sell away from that third party. Sell away from that. The karma, smoother waters. King of Cups was the next card. Okay. You see they go as your King of Cups. But it's clarified by the Seven of Swords. This is how I see it, see. See, I thought, see, King of Cups, I was thinking you might have had, you know, uh, you know, that's water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I'm thinking, you know, okay, the universe going to send you in a King of Cups. But then I clarified it, the Seven of Swords come out on top. So, obviously, the universe is trying to give you a message. You see, they go as your King of Cups. You love them. But, he, it's nothing but bringing you heartache. Look at them swords and stuff, see? Fighting and going on. Chaos. Strife. Okay, now we're going to clarify the world. Man, this is crazy. The tower? The tower? Clarifying the world? Whoa. That's heavy, girlfriend. Whoa. Guys, please do Zen. I want everybody to experience the Zen mode. The Zen mode. That's how clarifying the world. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sigma's next. Okay. After Karen is Sigma. After Sigma. It is going to be Simone. Okay, what I get from this is you got to let this tower fall. You got to let the tower fall. See, you trying to resist the tower. from You're trying to keep the tower from falling down on you and Dago's um, relationship. But if you let that tower fall, then you get the world. That's what I see. Okay. Clarify this. We're going to clarify this ten of wands. Which you know is 
fire energy. Sagittarius Aries Leo is clarified by the King of Pentacles. So you you probably have a fire sign coming in. Maybe an earth sign. So far, all I have, well, I have everything out here, really. I have earth, water, fire, and air. So, King of Pentacles, let go, let, that's how I see it. If you just let go of all this foolishness, my love, you know, I, I don't read like everybody else read. I read how I read. I read intuitively, as I said. How, what what I see in the cards, I don't. Might not other readers might not see. See, I'm gonna tell you what I see. I'm gonna give you the truth and nothing but the truth. I'm not gonna sugarcoat nothing. Okay. King of Pentacles coming in. You might have an Earth sign watching you. Capricorn Taurus Virgo. Let go of that. Let go of that man. Did you let go of all that? You have the King of Pentacles. You have the world. You have your Ace of Cups. Let the tower fall. Clarify this Ace of Cups. See what I'm talking about? I can't make this up, girl. I can't. You're going to get your justice if you let him go. Justice. Clarifying the Ace of Cups. You, The Ace of Cups is going to bring you justice, girl. Just let go of that no good man. Get out of that third party. Because he ain't doing nothing but still mess with her. He ain't doing nothing but lying to you. Because I know, I don't been through the same situation with a Taurus. You know, I have a narcissistic husband, but I have a Taurus twin flame. I have a Scorpio at a distance, you know, that a soul recognition. I know that's who's for me. I still have a hard time, too, letting go of Taurus. Because I love him. We both married. But he ain't going to never do right. I'm willing to do the right thing. But he's not. See what I'm talking about? See? I'm personable. I don't hide nothing. I don't sugarcoat like I said. I'm not perfect. I never, you know, no one is. I never profess to be. But if you let him go, this is what the universe is telling you now. This is what you need to know. You get your justice. The Ace of Cups is going to come in if you let go of that man. And you will get your justice. Okay? Let's clarify this Six of Swords. Page of Pentacles. Messages. You know, that's a message. You know, a page is a message. You might already have somebody watching you that you don't know about. Earth sign, Capricorn Taurus Virgo. Once you sail off the cool, calmer, smoother waters, you start, you're going to get some messages, my love. I can't make it up. I shuffle the cards in front of you. I just don't really like shuffle them to jump out. Sometimes I do, but I'm just really pulling because they've been shuffled, see. I'm just letting the universe speak. When you sail off to them calmer waters, okay, like I said, you might already have somebody watching you. Once you let go of all this foolishness you got going on, don't chase no love. Love will come to you. Okay, we're going to clarify these seven of swords. That was the six of swords. We're going to clarify the seven of swords. But you just got to have patience. Temperance. Sagittarius energy. You got to have get temperance, my love. You can't rush anything. You got to wait on the most high. You got to let go and let God. Okay, my love? Clarify, we're going to clarify the tower for you. Okay? 
Then I'm gonna get you some oracles. I don't know why I didn't bring my oracle deck in here. High priestess in the reverse. And I knew I don't That's what that's what's clarifying that tower. The high priestess in reverse. Come on, girl. We already know what that means. I just told you you don't want that tower to fall. That's why that high priestess came out in reverse to clarify the tower. We can't make it up, my babies. I can't make it up. See, you trying to manifest them. But the universe said, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> nah. That's why that that's why I was clarifying that tower. Your intuition is blocked too. Because if it wasn't blocked, it'd be in the upright. Hey, can you make that up, my baby? In the reverse. I'm gonna I'm pulling them and I'm just gonna Read them how they come out. Because you living in a fool's paradise. I'm being serious. You living in a fool's paradise. Let it go. As far as those, this other man, the boss you asked me about. Well, this is. I just incorporated it all because I was supposed to ask one question, but I, I I just asked the universe, what did you need to know? Okay? The universe just spoke to you. That third party situation is that you're telling you right there that he's still messing with his wife. And you the third party. That was clarified by the Ten of Wands, all the strife, the conflict in your mind. You know, thinking about him, wondering what's going on, but it's clearly in your face that he's still messing with her. He, he, Mexico for the children? What? Come on now. I can see Disney World. Mexico is where lovers go. Any fool know that. Yeah, I'm talking straight to you. I don't care if you don't like it. I'm just going to... I'm the truth and nothing but the truth. If you let all that go, it was clarified by the King of Pentacles. Then you, the Most High will send you someone in. With money. Like I said, it ain't got to be money. But somebody's going to give you the love that you need. The love that you're supposed to have. But you got to love yourself in order to know how to properly be loved. Then we had the Queen of Pentacles. See what I'm talking about? The King and Queen of Pentacles. That's a couple. You let Dagon go, whatever the name is. Then your King of Pentacles come in matching you, the Queen of Pentacles. A power couple. King Queen of Pentacles was clarified by the Ace of Cups. Your wish fulfillment. The most high gonna see you in your ace of cups. And then justice clarified that you're gonna get your justice when you get your ace of cups. He gonna they got old he gonna be looking crazy. Cause he think he's gonna still be right there being a sucker for him. Three, three of ones, ones. That you know what the one? All he wanted six. That's all. That's all he want. That's what he see you as a sex object. That's why the ones out there to tell you the truth. You know that's the way I'm seeing it now. Now that I'm looking at it, that's what it's all about. Yeah, he got passion for you. But that's it. 
Because that's player, see, that terrified by the Six of Swords, sail off into the smooth waters. Sail off them. Leave that alone. Then you got a page of pentacles clarifying the Six of Swords. Once you sail off in this cool, calm, smooth waters, let go and let God, you start getting, you, you're going to get a message, you're going to start getting messages, but you can't force anything. The King of Cups, clarified by the Seven of Swords. Pick up them swords and walk away. And so your king of cups can come in. See, cause I, I'm getting several messages out of this, you know. I mean, I just can't give you one straightforward bit. It's just certain, several things that I'm seeing here, see. But you got to have temperance. Because that's what's clarifying the seven of swords. Temperance. Once you pick up those swords and walk away. You still looking back. See, you, you you got them. You got five swords walking away, but you're still looking back at them other two swords. For what? You got to have some patience, my little. That's clarified by temperance. Patience. Be patient. Be patient. Be patient. Then you get the world. What more can you ask for? You can't ask for no more than that. You get the world, my love. Let me get you some oracles. Hold on a second. Hold tight. I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. I want to go ahead and try to get this out of the way for you. <gasps> you know, I said I, I do what I say and I say what I mean, you know. We we'll just some moon knowledge real quick for these 30 minutes up. But it's it's there, my love. Just let go and let God. It's it, it's 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 telling you, my baby. You know. You know, that happened. Like I said, I, I ain't gonna tell you. You already know what the cards was. I showed you. You don't. You refuse to let the tower fall. That's why the high priestess is in reverse. That's why you're not manifesting what you want, because you refuse to let that tower fall in order to let something new come in for you. Okay. Let's be new knowledge for you. Step these moon out of you. See what we're gonna get for you. See what we're gonna get. See, see, I have to use it. See, but see, what I read, you know, for the uh, for the collective, my my head start hurting and everything. You know, because people be putting on my energy and everything like that. But I'm more comfortable doing it like this pre-recorded. But my head wanna hurt a little bit, you know, because you know I'm tapping in. We're going to see what we're going to get for you here. This thing's so stiff, though. We don't want to pop out. Let's see what we have. A personal issue reaches resolution. Full moon and cancel. Can't make it up. See that? Personal resolution. Hope you see it good. See? It's only clarifying what I said. A personal issue reaches resolution once you let go of all those burdens. Hmm. Nothing is yet set in stone. Mutable moon. See, see what I'm talking about? Nothing is yet set in stone. Six of Wands, you will be victorious. Get you one more here. Step out of your can't make it up, baby. Step out of your comfort zone, North Node. You need to get into your North Node, my love. I hope you have your birth chart. See that? Step out of your comfort zone, North Node. See, you 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 still in that South Node. 
The south knows what comes natural to us. But we're supposed to be moving away from that toward our true north, our, our purpose in this lifetime, see. Because when you, when the right one come in, you won't have to be worried about all this. You go. Just let it go, my love, and let God. I hope you enjoyed the reading. That's just, I, I, don't cook, I don't sugarcoat anything. I'm, I'm, I really don't need cards. I, I, I watch tarot just to really confirm what I already know. But I share, you know, I share messages with you all, for you know, from the spiritual readers that I listen to, you know, that I was guided to, because I'm, I'm, I'm. I'm divinely guided. I walk and talk with the Most High. And nothing happens for a reason. Everything happens. I mean, say everything happens for a reason. There's no such thing as a coincidence. No such thing. Everything has already been written in the stars. See, he's a lesson. See, that's what I had. I had to learn lessons, too. And it's still... I'm still learning. Now, thank you for your donation. And because now, this levels to this thing, my love. Gone. Okay? Thank you. Thank you, you know, for letting me read for you. Now, thank you. I hope you take you my advice. And just let it go. Okay? PK, I that way you won't be worrying about no, you know, worrying about what he doing with his wife or his ex or whatever because if he's going he yeah I'm quite, yeah you have to he, any real man would want to be in their child's life and do for their child the children but all that bullshit about taking the kids to uh mexico that's a bunch of hogwash okay open up your eyes my love I hope you enjoy this, okay, my baby? If you need me, you know how to get in touch with me. And I hope you enjoyed this message. And please say heed to the advice the Spirit is trying to give you. Okay? God bless you. And always stay grateful for what's, what you have. You know? Always stay positive. Keep those vibrations high. You know, I love you, okay? And I hope you have a safe trip. My condolences on your son. All right. God is always with us, okay? Like I say, I love you. If don't nobody tell you they love you, I love you, okay, my love? Get out your head. Let that man go because that's what the universe is telling you. Because once you let that man go, then the universe will send you in your ace of cups. God bless you.